What's up guys? So today I'm taking my car to the dealership. Um, it had a little bit of problems whenever I first got it, like little tiny problems, like this light back here uh, does not work. And also I've been experiencing that my turn signal, it kind of gets stuck sometimes. So today I have the service appointment and I'll pretty much get y'all through it. Uh, they're supposed to give me a loaner car while they're fixing it. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So the light does work, but the sensor is the one that doesn't work. Like if I try to turn it off, it doesn't turn off. And now the same, if I want to turn it on, it doesn't turn on. So this is pretty much the, what they're fixing today and little like other things, like minor things. So this is how it's gonna look like in your um, app. You can see that today's the appointment at 9 a.m. You press into it, it tells you the cost is zero dollars since I stated it when I first uh, accepted the car on delivery day. Uh, preparation complete. Uh, they assign me transportation already. Um, whenever I get there, I can press the drop off and then I just park and tell them where I am and go inside, show them my ID. And it's supposed to finish by 6 p.m. Yeah, that's it. What I mean about these getting stuck is that sometimes I press this button over here and then I can't press this button later on due to it being flat and not being able to like go down. So it gets stuck. And then I have to like just mess around to try to get it unstuck, which is something I'm gonna mention to them later on. I don't, I didn't put it on this uh, service, but I'll probably make another one for it though. Since I'm already making this video, might as well talk about, um, we've, ha we've been having some rainy days over here in Houston and I've been using full self-driving and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It just tells you that it that is degraded self-driving so it's not as good and also if it's raining way too hard and you're going fast it kind of takes you out of it and tells you that you need to drive but yeah i can do a video on this later on and um i just wanted to mention that so this is what i mean by the uh degraded full self-driving so i just got here as you can tell i'll find a parking spot and then i'll do everything on the app and i'll show y'all this is pretty cool. It even knows that you're here and it tells you on your um, on your screen what to do. Now I'll go on my app and begin drop off. It says navigate to the drop off area. Show them the map, confirm drop off. Once you enter the drop off area, to notify your service team, you have arrived. So the, so the drop off area is just pretty much all of Tesla. As you can tell. So since we're here, we're gonna confirm drop off. Ensure your vehicle is parked at the service center lot and remove the pin drive if applicable. So I do have a pin, I'll remove it and then I'll be back. If you don't know, this is how you take off the pin. You just go to safety and then pin to drive and you turn that off and you put in your pin again and then it takes it off. So I removed the pin, so I put yes. Service team has been notified that your vehicle has been dropped off. Okay. Now I'll put in my ID and I'll show you what happens afterwards. So they're telling me uh, to drive inside the service center just so they can annotate the um, imperfections. Um, which I'll just get the beginning of me driving in there and then I'll stop recording. I guess it says service drop off right there, but I didn't even see it. Um, so I'll probably turn it off here and I'll get back to y'all. So now I just need to pick up my car. They told me it's this type of car. It's a white Model 3. Uh, I just go to the car. I'll set up the, the phone key. And then I'm good to go.
They said I, I can even take tolls and everything like that. It will go, all go to Tesla. All right, I think this is my car. My loaner car for right now. Try to set up the phone key. All right, it was that quick. Let's see if it works. It might not be mine. <laughs> so actually I got played is the one next to it. This is the one that I'll be using. I don't know whether there's stuff to drink in there, but. Yeah, this was a service appointment. I like the black more than the white. Or it might just be the bucket seats since this isn't since this one is not a model three uh, performance. But yeah, the white doesn't look as good to be honest. Yeah, so like I said in my older video, um, I'm not used to like, I've never, before my Tesla, I had never uh, driven another Tesla. So I, I'm gonna have to get used to this one. This one actually has the manual um, turn signals and then the drive is right here on the right. Also, um, I guess they didn't put a USB in here since you can't record or it doesn't have a USB in there. Um, I don't even know how to turn full, full set drive on on this one because on mine, you just pressed on the right right here and it would um, automatically do it. But over here is, I guess, what's it called, uh, the microphone. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's just totally different. Yeah, I'll be a learning curve. But talking about the loaner car, um, they did give it to me pretty dirty to be completely honest. Um, there's just pretty much like marks everywhere. I mean, they could have cleaned this a little bit better. Like, see, even the wheel is dirty. The seats were dirty. Somebody left like their drink here. Like, I don't even want to touch it actually, to be honest. And then like, I don't know, the charging pad doesn't work either, but I guess, I mean, it'll do the job for now until I get my car. I don't know, I feel like it's a little dirty. What do you feel about it? Um, yeah, this is not it. Uh, you about to wash your hands after? <laughs> I feel gross. No. Look at the wheel. Bro. There's stains everywhere. Look, somebody left their cup in here too. They couldn't even get the cup out. I mean, it just could have been vacuum, you know? Little things, little things. Like, like what is that? Oh. So they forgot to um, take my card for my car. Um, and told me to come drop it off after I got off of work. So then they told me to put it in here. So I'll just drop it off here. And we're done.